Okay, this is day two with the new Copper Chef pan. And I'm going to try a different breakfast rec recipe. Actually, it's not a recipe. I'm just making it up as I go. Uh, again, I'm not a chef or anything. Uh, my wife is away. I'm a bachelor <laughs> for the weekend. So I can cook whatever I want. This isn't the healthiest meal. But I'm going to try my form of a Monte Cristo. Uh, sandwich. I'm going to take, uh, I'm going to use raisin bread and this is uh, turkey, sliced turkey and Swiss cheese and it's kind of like it's making French toast. This is uh, actually I made too much but it's uh, I use four eggs, a little bit of half and half, a little bit of sugar, a little bit of uh, vanilla extract and uh, anyway this is the base what I'm going to do is I'm going to pour that into the bottom I'm going to put the bread in there to soak it up and uh, then I'll pour the rest out I'll figure it out as I go anyway that's the plan okay I poured the egg batter in there and now I have the uh, raisin bread uh, in there to soak it up. I'll leave it in here for a little bit and flip it around. And again this is in the uh, Copper Chef non-stick pan and I'm kind of testing out the non-stick stickiness of it last night. I made some fish and it worked out great. Uh, I didn't put any butter or oil or anything in the pan. And right now it's not turned on. Uh, so this is just using it as a, a bowl to create the French toast, to get the egg toast toast ready. Okay, it's been about five minutes or so. I've turned the toast, or the bread, um, to try to get it to soak up. And what I think I'm going to do, one thing I... Little, thing I do with French toast is take a fork around the edge just to uh, kind of make it easier for the, the egg batter to soak into the edge. Sometimes the edges get are too hard, don't get enough in there. Okay, I took the French toast out and it's just sitting there waiting. Uh, it's not cooked yet and I turn the stove on to medium so this egg is in here there's no butter or oil or anything so we'll see how if it sticks um, I don't know if you can see I'll turn this down just a little bit because we don't want high too high heat on here they say high, too high heat and that can cause things to stick or... I don't know if you can see the smoke. Right now it seems like it's cooking more right here. The edges are not cooking as fast. It's still very loose there but it looks like it's, it's almost cooked there. So as far as the heat spreading evenly across the pan it doesn't seem to be quite the case it's hotter in the middle than on the sides that's my initial observation okay I have put the top on for a little bit to try to cook it more evenly on the top and uh, just for a couple minutes and as you can see the middle is all cooked but we're not getting in, the cooking isn't even all the way across the pan. Also right now, unlike the commercial, nothing's sliding around. It's not sliding around in one piece. It doesn't look like it's sticking per se, but it's not slippery like in the commercial. 
Maybe the heat's up too high. I don't know. I have it have the heat down to uh, less than uh, medium. I'm going to turn it to a lower heat. See if that helps. It's at 35. It's been about five minutes almost. And what I want to do is flip this, but it's not allowing me to get underneath it. Like, there we go. Well, it's not too bad. Not quite like the commercial. But it didn't stick too much. So I'm going to take this out. Put it in here. Then I'm going to take each piece of toast. Hard to do it one hand with the camera. Trouble with this French toast. Whoa. Is that so? Soggy egg that it falls apart. The heat's still down low. It's 837. I'll let this slowly cook on that side. After I turn it over, I will add the egg. And then I'll put the cheese and ham on there. And then add some jelly. Let's see if I can pour some of this. extra batter that's on there. Okay. It seems to cook better, do better when the top's on. Uh, cooks both sides faster. So. Okay. It's just been a couple minutes. I turned the heat up slightly. Trying to get that flame a little bit higher there. Give it a little bit more heat. So let's say if I can see if I can flip these over. Okay, that one did okay. No stick. No stick. I might leave these two in just a little bit longer to get more done on the, what's going to be the inside, but on the outside now. Then I'm going to take this egg, cut it in half, and I know all you nutritionists out there are saying it's not a very healthy meal. A lot of protein in the eggs but also a lot of fat but I didn't use any butter so there's the egg then let's move over here and put a little bit of meat again more protein And the Swiss cheese. I know I don't need this extra piece. Well, I'm not going for nutrition. This is not the nutrition meal. And before I flip these over, put the top back on and give it a couple minutes. 
Okay, it's just been a minute or so. Just enough to probably melt the cheese. Well, it's not too melted. But enough time to maybe take this Put it on top of there, take this, it's enough food for two people, and I'm here by myself, there, so far so good as far as the sticking goes, it's not sticking, not overly impressed with the, uh, the way the egg cooked, it's not even all the way around. Uh, obviously, the, the middle gets hotter than the edges, but I guess that's to be expected. So now I'm going to flip this over. Normally I'd use two hands and hold that piece, but let's see if I can do it. That worked. A few more minutes, maybe three more minutes, and then we'll see what we got. Okay, it's been just a few minutes, and we'll see how we go. And I kept it covered just so to cook a little bit faster. Ooh, yeah. Nice and brown. Yeah, baby. Could put a, I think they call them a panini press on top of these. I'm pressing down just to kind of sear the inside a little bit. But I think. We are done. I don't want to overcook it because then the French toast gets too crispy. Obviously too much. I'll have one for lunch. Probably gain five pounds today. There's that. Pan. The handle is warm but okay to touch. This handle is warm down here, not too hot to touch here, but cold up here, so that's good. Nothing really stuck too much. Turn the heat off. Let's see how much. Oh, yeah. The stuff on the side seems to wipe off. Pan's hot, so I'm not gonna spend too much time on it right now. But yes, kind of like in the commercial, easy clean, easy clean up. So so far, so good. Doesn't have the even heat like they say it does. So mostly, you can almost see that round circle where the uh, heating plate is. That's where it gets hot. The edges aren't as hot. Uh, the egg didn't slide around like it did in the commercials, but I didn't have any butter or oil on the pan. I just put the egg straight into the pan. And uh, seems like it's cleaning up pretty well. And we have our sandwiches. So let's, uh, let me just take one, see if I can do this with one hand. What I'm going to do is put a little bit of jelly in there. Yep. It's warm. Warm in the middle. Meat's warm. French toast is still soft. And there we have it. A Monte Cristo. Monte Cristo 
sandwich for breakfast. And what it took about 20 minutes all told. Okay, final shot. It's all ready. I put a little jelly between the bread. Kids would love this sandwich. Again, not healthy, but good. Added some jelly so it has meat. I had some thin sliced turkey, Swiss cheese, some egg, scrambled egg, and jelly between two pieces of French toast. And then I dip I can take the sandwich and dip it in this jelly on the side for the extra sweetness. Add a cup of coffee, and that's breakfast. Well, breakfast was delicious. <clears throat> and just a final note, cleaning the pan. I haven't cleaned it yet, but I did wipe it down with a paper towel. Got some crumbs in the middle. But everything that was on the sides just came right off. So. So far, so good as far as the non-stick goes. Again, it's only the second day, second meal that I've cooked in here. And time will tell whether this pan is worth $75.